Welcome to Banahene Tutorial Collection and today we are going to have some Windows tips and tricks we can utilize or some Windows operational elements we can have them on daily basis to improve our Windows productivity now this is my Windows desktop background and I have these icons available when you look at these icons I have this word file and also have this folder now let's assume that this file and this folder are not shown on the desktop but they are saved or located in a different partition of my hard disk and if i want to get access to these files or these folders then i have to navigate through this hard disk to get access to my file and also my folder now what is the essential skills you should have on this windows interface there is a feature known as the windows taskbar which consists of a feature known as the search box and this allows you to search for files folders and programs on your computer system so the first tip in this video to get access to your files or your folders is to use the search box on the taskbar now when i click on the search box on the taskbar now you are going to have this search window opened and then you have the access to type the name of the file or the folder or the program you want to open now i'm going to type the name of the file and now you can see that as i am typing the name of the file this file has been popped up in this search window so if i click on this this is going to open this file on the desktop background so this search box is a quick way of getting access to your files folders or programs no matter where the destination of these elements or items are found so what you need is to have the name of the file or folder in your mind so that you can use the search box to search for this special file that is very needed by you personally now if i erase what i have typed in the search box and type the name of the folder you can see that this folder has been popped up in this search window therefore when i click on this this is going to open this folder on the desktop background so this is the first tip i want to share with you how to get access to your files and folders especially your hidden files and folders or where they are located you don't remember them or you don't remember where you have placed your files or folders on the computer system so this is where the search box comes in handy the next tip i want to share with you is when you have icons on your desktop there are certain icons that you normally work with so always you want to have those icons on the desktop to have easy access and operation of these icons now when you look at this icon which is the opera mini browser it has this arrow on it that shows that this is a shortcut icon of this program because i frequently work with microsoft word i want to have microsoft word program placed on the desktop so how can we do this you move to the start button then we are going to look for the program that is microsoft word and now this program pops up in this search box you right click on the program then you choose open file location now we have this file explorer or windows explorer open so we are going to identify word and this is word you right click on word then in these options we have the option to click on send to and when you click on send to there is a side menu that appears and we have desktop create shortcut and when you have this operation done and back to your desktop background you can see that we have this icon displayed as a shortcut icon so anytime you want to work with microsoft word you just right click and choose open or you double click on this program to open microsoft word so this is also another tip i want to share with you that is to create desktop shortcut icon the next tip i want to share with you is how to select multiple items on the desktop using check boxes currently if i want to select an item on the desktop i just have a click on it and that is going to select that particular icon if i hold the control key and click on other icons these icons are going to be selected so this is how to select multiple items so how can you use checkboxes so that you don't add the keyboard to the mouse to select items so this is what i am going to share with you 
now to have the check boxes you go to the start button and we are going to type change search options for files and folders now when you type the initials of this text you can see that we have the option here which says change search options for files and folders and i'm going to click on this and in this window we have the view tab and when you click on the view tab you are going to scroll down and then choose use check boxes to select items so i'm going to click on this checkbox click on apply then you click on ok now when you move to your desktop and you hover your mouse on these icons you can see that there's a checkbox here which can help you to click click and click and then you can select your multiple items on the desktop using check boxes now we have so many ways of creating word documents now let's see if it is possible to create a word document using the file explorer option now to access the file explorer i'm going to hold the windows key and the letter e and now we have the file explorer open and there are some locations here you need to identify before creating your word document so i'm going to select desktop and now that desktop is selected you have this region or section so you can right click and when you right click i'm going to choose new then you choose microsoft word document so in this case we are using the file explorer to create this word document and i'm going to give a name to this file then i hit the enter key now when you close this window and come back to your desktop you are going to see that this document has been created using the file extra window so this is how this is the fourth tip i want to share with you you can create a word document when you are working within the file explorer now the last thing i want to share with you is how to create a word document on the desktop in an easy way and to do this you right click on the desktop you make sure that you have an empty area you are right clicking then you choose new and then you choose microsoft word document this also creates a word document and you can give a name to this file 